will be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want, let yourself be free, and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty. Honey, let's just face it. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better, so much better. I hope you're well welcome back to a new one i'm so happy to be saying that because in the morning i had to do a lot of you know self-convincing i had to do like a small pep talk to myself so that i can grab um my camera and talk to you guys but i hope you had a good month i mean the month of june i hope you had a good one this is um the first week of july and i'm just wishing you guys an amazing month um i hope you get to do all the things all the things that you're looking forward to um yeah so for me one thing i'm looking forward to is actually creating more content and i've been doing my best to actually be consistent and i'm happy with that super proud of um, myself for that um yeah so today is wednesday and i'm actually starting this weekly vlog um on wednesday but um i have a lot that i'll be doing this week and i wanted to share that with you it's going to um, yeah i'm taking some time to actually focus on my space more i feel like i've neglected it for a while there's so much that i want to do and i've not gotten a lot to doing that because of time i've also um, i've also taken this week to just practice a bit of self-care and that is from last week we actually took a small break and traveled home which was just amazing um one thing about us is that when we work from home when i say we i mean myself and my partner so we get to work from home and we kind of all do our own thing which means taking a break from that can be a challenge you know so we always you know come up with these breaks we say like we are taking one week break from work and then after two days we just we just back at it so it never happens anytime we are actually out of town it's when we get to rest well and our last week was just amazing to land meru it was so peaceful we got to talk uh, to our parents we just it was it was amazing so yeah it was a very you know a so much needed break if i may say that um if you follow me on instagram you are able to just see my life in the village you know in the farm it was just so peaceful it was so much fun fun it was different from you know the nairobi chaos and um that one week was just you know 
I think I also got time to also reflect and just, you know, think about life and the things that I want to achieve with my future, if I may say that. Because um, one, thing, one thing I think, um, or um, like when I go through my DMs, one thing that stands out is just how people think um, at the age of 24, I'm 24 years old, that I've been able to make it in life. Imagine, no. Imagine, no. Like, I look at those comments and I'm like, babe, imagine whatever you're doing and whatever you're sort of going through when it comes to achieving your goals and just um, chasing those dreams, it's the same process that I'm going through, you know. Um, at the age of 24, there's so many things that um, I haven't learned. There's some, so many things that I haven't, you know, experienced in life. And I'm just like putting myself out there and ready to, you know, experience all these things. I, I kind of believe in myself a lot. I believe there's so much that I can do. I believe there's so much that I, that I can achieve. But uh, am I afraid? Am I scared? Do I have doubts? I I do. I have, I have a combination of all those. But you know what? It's about just starting and putting yourself out there and just doing it you never know what happens i know this was just supposed to be an intro but i just wanted to share that bit with you guys because um we all struggle in different ways um when it comes to you know careers you know passion monetizing your passion things like that i feel like the struggles that you go through there they might be the same struggles that i go through so there's nothing like figuring things out you just have to you know just move with it just try different things put yourself out there because i remember when i started my youtube channel um doing design work like practicing interior design was never part of it i have never thought about that i had one mid call that i wanted to you know achieve like there's something that i want i wanted to do um like after content creation it's a goal that i'm still working on but along the way just opportunities just started presenting themselves small doors big doors started opening for me and it was um the question of you know do i grab these opportunities and allow myself to grow you know these opportunities will allow you to have that personal growth and there's also going to be that career growth. So it's about the question of am I going to grab these opportunities and just, you know, um, go with it or will you let the fear of, you know, the unknown um, make this decision for you? So those two things. And I feel like most people will go with, you know, the fear, the doubt, I can't do it, you know, but you have to believe in yourself before even anyone else can believe in yourself. There is so many times that I've wanted to say no to projects, no to consultations. Even when I started, the answer was always no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I want to be my, my, by myself, create content and then just work on that one goal that I had and I'm still working on it. But you know, when opportunities come, you just have to grab them, put yourself out there. It doesn't mean you're not going to fail, you will. And you might, because I have experience, I've gone through things. So you will fail, but it's about you trying to take these, fail, uh, these failures as lessons and just be okay with it. There is nothing that comes easy. You have to allow yourself to just work through those failures. So yeah, there's nothing like making it in life. I have not made it in life. Maybe there are people who have, but I have not. I'm just going through life, experiencing different things, putting myself out there and just allowing myself to grow in different ways. So just also, you know, give yourself the same chance, give yourself the same opportunity. And um, I am always wishing you guys the very best. Yeah, I am. Anyway, I just wanted to share that a bit with you. Um, so. What was I talking about before I got all distracted? Um, no, I was talking about how I decided to take a bit of time to just practice some self-care. So yeah, we came back from home um, on when? Saturday, I think. Yeah, and I've started this week again with a bit of self-care. I visited, can you guys see that? Have you guys noticed my nails? Like how different is that? Can you guys see that? How beautiful. So I decided to do a bit of uh, self-care because, you know, I feel like I needed it. So um, I wanted to share this. I went to get my nails done at Lux and this is just my, okay, this is my honest review. You guys, you need to visit that, do I call it a salon, nail salon? You need to visit it because the experience over there is just 
it's just amazing um it's not even about the nails they're perfect but it's more about the whole thing the whole experience how kind they are how nice they are how professional they are i feel like um that is just one place i wanted to share with you guys so that you can check them out if you need to it was amazing i did my pedi i need my i did my nails the foot massage was just ugh. It was just amazing um there were a number of people there even reading books it's it's that peace for you guys it's such a quiet place that the decor is on point that's the first reason why i actually wanted to go there and i know i'm talking without you know videos of this space but i would like you guys to you know surprise yourself just visit and see and i'm not lying it's amazing anyway i need to leave now i have um I have things I need to get done today and I want to take you guys with me. I want to shop for curtains. So I want to go check out the tile and carpet um, sales. They started the sales, I think, last month. And I hope that I'm able to get uh, some good fabric. I want to get fabric for my curtains. Um, I also want to go to Gong Road um, to just, you know, walk around <laughs> for sure. I want to see some of the work those fundies do because i want to make my couch i want to get a new um couch for my space and um i just want to go try you know see different things and you know talk to different foodies and maybe see if i can custom make one so i think i'll take you guys with me and vlog what i can uh what else what else what else will be happening this week let me just share what will be happening today which is getting fabric for curtains and also going to gong road um we are also like um a bit confused if to get the couch first or to or to set up the office first and um i feel like we are drawn towards the office side more because i feel you know productivity it's you know i think we need the office first so we are still planning on that but i want to go see what my options are along gong road so come with me let's um shop okay i want i have one more thing that i want to share with you guys and it's this duvet cover that i got from mr price so let me show you mm. Okay, here we go. So don't mind my back. I'm just, you know, stepping out in a minute. I just wanted to show you guys this duvet cover that I got from Mr. Price, whom I am in love. I got it during their sale. They were running a sale. So mainly the duvet covers go for 9K to 11K a piece. That is a duvet cover with two pillowcases. Now I got mine um, for what price? It was 50% off, so 4500 Um, And the moment they were running that sale, you guys, I ran. Yeah, I ran because I love the duvet covers a lot. I feel like they're always more detailed and they just look different. So when they were running the sale, I just, I had to check them out. Yeah, so I got this piece. I love it because it's textured. It's not plain. It looks so cute. But again, it's white. Um, Can you guys notice the lines? Can you see those lines? <sighs> it's so pretty you guys and then it's warm um and that's one thing i love about it but mainly for that texture ugh, that texture is just everything it's amazing just look at it yeah anyway i just wanted to show you this um the space is still not you know done so there's a lot of i have to do i am still trying to see what can go up there but first i need to get like those wall lights to cover those uh you know uh because in that way so and then i want to do something you know different um like have cute uh wall lights over there so that is something that i'm still oh sorry that is something that i'm still working on and then also get curtains i am super excited about that so today it's about getting the fabric and then i'll get someone to stitch the curtains for me and anyway, let me leave now and i think i'll talk to you guys when i get to thailand carpet i'm a gong road i don't know um i want to go to thailand carpet at lovington so i don't know where my first stop would be but one of those two places so come with me
so as you can see i am back home and i think last time we talked i was at talent carpet so i was able to get my fabric i got the white one that you saw for the living room and then i got the light gray for the bedroom i wanted the bedroom to be a bit more cozy so the gray is um what i liked best for that room for the living room i want to still keep it very nice hairy bright so i wanted to go with a white fabric i know for sure when we watch tv in this room during the day the light is always too much so i might have to use lining on that fabric but they didn't have a uh, white lining in stock no they add some lining in stock yes but the quality is not what i wanted so i have to go to talent carpet along mombasa road to get the one i want and um then i can have the curtain stitched i want to have them stitched by junara interiors because i have worked with them before and i know their work is amazing so yes so that's the small update i have for you about curtains i am so so excited to finally get curtains i can see i'll actually need shears for this room i might keep the ones i have in the bedroom because i don't like i don't eat that fabric it's nice i actually got it from talent carpet that is the shear i have in the bedroom but for this room we might need some new shears because these ones they don't look that nice um yeah and then I passed by Gong Road just to see some of the work the fundies have done over there. And um, I think I took a small clip, so I'm going to be attaching it over here. Um, yeah, so we walked around and found different fundies, but there wasn't a lot happening along Gong Road. Um, yeah, I think we just found, I think, five shops workshops um and one thing i noticed is that there's three different types of cushions so this is something i wanted to share with you just in case you're considering making your couch so i think there's one they call the eye density and i feel like it's what i have here i hate those they are so uncomfortable and actually most of the fundies along gong road add this eye density cushion and they were saying the the reason they actually have a lot of that it's because most kenyans want to go with the eye density because um um, they get to keep it for long compared to the soft ones so it's because the soft ones when you sit on them for like two years you have to change or is it one year i think two years max you have to change but for the eye density you can keep it for a very long time so they were saying that's why they mainly have that in the market for me it's true you can actually keep it for a very long time and it's not going to change but it's the most uncomfortable so i don't want to deal with that so mm -mm. Then there was the soft guide, the ones that now most people don't like. Um, and with this one, they said they have created a better way of making, of using this kind of cushion. So they kind of line it with some material. I don't know if it's fiber or I, I forgot the term. So yeah, they kind of round it with another material on top to just make it more heavy or more thicker, which means you can keep it for quite some time so i think that's what i want and then there was another fundi who was using springs so i don't know the kind of cushion he was using with the springs but i know i sat on them and they were very comfortable so the ones with the springs they are the most comfortable and then we have the ones with the soft cushion that is lined with something else on top and then now we have this kind that i have in my house that i want to change yeah so there are those three different types um i just wanted to be able to have a bit of you know more information when it comes to making couches again now that i'm into design and i get to do couches for clients i want to be able to understand uh what goes into like custom making seats um yeah and that was like a fun lesson for me i feel like i was in a class learning more about seeds and how they're made so yeah that's something maybe you can note and then you can kind of you know know exactly what you want i would say sit on something before you decide on it because i think for my case i also wanted to go with a cushion that would last long but i didn't get to kind of sit on it uh when it's in a couch that i'm able to test the comf comfortability and for now that i have this couch and i've been with it for a while now i know it's not comfortable the cushions are not comfortable so what we have decided is is instead of changing the couch or getting a new couch we're just going to change the cushions and then we can 
can keep our couch for maybe this year and later on we can consider now making something bigger but for now we're just going to change the cushions and that's it so that will be another home update i think in my coming videos i want to get it done as soon as possible um yeah so no new couches we're just going to change the cushions because i really need to change those cushions um yeah so that's the entire update i had for you guys now i was actually going through the clips that i have taken today and i feel like again this is enough for one video and i know of late i've just been starting weekly vlogs that tend to be daily vlogs um and i think it's because i have much that i want to share with you guys so yeah let me just make this a daily vlog because um there's again a lot that will be happening this week and if we were to include everything in one video then would be creating a series over here so yeah allow me to close this one right here i hope you enjoyed it if you did give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'm gonna see you guys in my next one bye guys